This is James White with Freak Interviews, bringing you As Seen on TV, product reviews, gadgets, and more. Now today I've got five cell phone holders for the car, all with different mounting systems, all of them highly rated on Amazon. Let's see which one's best in today's video. All right, there's no need for an explanation. Let's get right to it and crack these open. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna, in no particular order, grab one. Nope, I'm just gonna reach back there, sight unseen. Oh, this is the one I'm actually the most interested in. This is the, I think it's called Bosnoy cradle type. I've never seen a phone mount like this before. And you just, it just kind of clamps down your phone like that. So that's kind of an interesting design. Here goes nothing. I'm just gonna put it just like that. <clears throat> I mean, this is the only installation for it. It's very, not very, uh, it's not very extensive. That's it. Clean the dashboard, which I did. Tear off the transparent film, which I did. Put it on the dash and press it. That's it. That's the only instructions for it. So it should be good. Well, this one should be very easy. This is the cup holder phone mount. This one's kind of interesting because it, you can twist it and it actually extends so for larger cup holders. And they even have extenders that goes beyond that if you have really large cup holders which is kind of, a, kind of a neat idea. This is also the most expensive one at 36 bucks. See, my cup holders already have these that kind of grab it anyways. Oh, now it's too much. All right, there we go. All right, it's kind of, well, I, I lose a cup holder. Look at this though. Oh, I like that. That's something oddly satisfying. Oh, and the way the sound it makes too. Oh, uh, let's see what we got here. This is the Sumbay, I think, Sumbay. Oh, this is an interesting one too. This is actually a clip. So this actually clips uh, oh, kind of near your steering wheel and it simulates a HUD or a heads up display. I feel like I'm gonna break it. I like how it's not staying. I thought this was gonna be the easiest one to mount. Ugh. And it's sliding right off. Well, this was the lowest rated one of the of the five. And I, now I can kind of see why. It's gonna be kind of picky about the dash that it uses. I may not be able to use this one. It might get disqualified before we even start the competition. <laughs> I just hit the windshield wipers. Oh, it's chaos in here. <laughs> well, I might have to just try this on a different car but as far as this test goes, it ain't gonna work. What's next? All right, this is just a standard clip type mount, so let's just try it on here. Now that was easy to install. This one has a cool button on the back, and here we go. Ooh, ooh. Another oddly satisfying one, ooh. And finally, I've got the window mount. The mounting system's pretty familiar. You just stick it on there and push the lever, so let's try it out. I was gonna have one Mount it here, but since that's not working on this car, I'm gonna put it on this side. I mean, I guess when you push the phone in there, it automatically grabs onto it. So let's throw some phones in here and get driving. How about this iPhone? I think it's a 6S with kitty cat ears on it. We'll put that one up here. Cup holder mount. I'll try this iPhone, what is this, a 7 Plus? 7 Plus. Very nice. How about for this clamp type? Oh, it does work, okay. I'll put the iPhone 10S Max. Oh wow, that's it, that actually works pretty well. Let's try this Samsung S6 Edge. All right, we've got the com command center here. Window mounted, clamp mount, vent mount, and cup holder mount. And the clip type failed already. But let's uh, get driving and see how well these hold up on some regular freeway driving. All right, for the first real world test, I've got four of the phone mounts because number five is riding the pine. This one's on the sidelines. But I've got all of them set up with GPS running, so they're all active phones. Um, so far, they all seem stable, but the air vent one, I think, is probably bouncing around the most. But it still seems pretty stable. This one I'm most surprised about because I wasn't sure it was gonna work at all, and it seems like it's steady as a rock. So, so far, I can see why they're all pretty highly rated, but we got a long way to go. 
And also, I'm also going to rotate phones through each one so they're all carrying a different phone at different times because the phones might be different weight and different sizes, so that could affect things as well. But we'll just keep testing them, see how they do. About five seconds after I finished that segment, but look what's, hello, nothing there. This one just hit the deck. Ugh, that's a, that's a bad omen for this one. I'll remount it and see how it go, goes, but I don't know. We have one that's just dropped in the rankings and uh, I'm a little disappointed. Let's see how the other ones do. Now there are clear difficulties when comparing phone mounts in a specific car because every car is configured differently. So your car may have different obstacles that mine do and vice versa. But last night I actually drove across town and back and I used the four that are mounted here. The clip one I'm still kind of waiting on. But I used these four with two phones on the way there and back. I didn't have my camera with me, but I tested them out. And I've got a few additional observations from that initial test. Starting with the cup holder mount, um, I will say it's very sturdy. Not only is it very sturdy, but it's it's quite easy to uh, move around. Some of the others are a little bit stiff and you have to kind of loosen them. But this one, I was really happy with how, just how solid that feels. The only problem is that it's so close to me in my car. Now, some cars, it'll be up here, which is makes more sense. I had this on my GPS driving across town last night, and it's so close to me that I feel like I was kind of having to reach almost backwards. But if it was up here, it'd be a lot easier to... to touch it so i'm not sure it's great in this car in the cup holder not only that but you lose the cup holder when you're driving alone that's not a problem when you got someone else with you it is a problem now with the vent mount this is obviously a very highly rated vent mount so people like it for a reason but there there are limitations of those and that's that your vent itself could actually cause problems if it's kind of weak or the way it's set up this one isn't too problematic i also found that as i was hitting bumps on the freeway it slowly kind of did this over time, which I wasn't real happy with. I did tighten the back overnight, so I'll see if that maybe made a difference. Um, it's pretty good. I, I think it's pretty good, but I don't think it's perfect. Now the window mounted one, I actually had to remount this one because it was over here originally and fell off. Um, I re-cleaned the glass, I did remount it and I was, I left on overnight to make sure it was actually stuck properly. It seems like it's pretty solid. I do like the way this one also has one hand operation push it in there and then there's a button right here that when you push your phone against it it closes around it like that that's pretty cool um, this is probably not the best sit place to mount this one because of the rear view mirror but I'm gonna leave it there for now and I'm gonna test it out with more phones again this is another one you kind of have to make sure everything's tightened uh, to adjust it you sometimes have to mess with these I'm not I mean some people don't mind now this one has been the surprise for me so far the clamshell style now it's obviously it's not real easy for one hand you kind of have to lift it up and also it's horizontal some people may not like that it's a horizontal design some people won't care but i will say that this one seems really sturdy that phone doesn't move and it's actually mounted quite well onto the dash it has this rubber piece down here that helps it conform to your dash so it doesn't have to be completely flat other mounts i've seen uh, they kind of suffer because they require a completely flat dash and that's not very common. So this one I'm surprised about. If you don't mind the horizontal configuration, this one's actually a pretty good choice. So those are some of my observations after about a day and a half of using these. I got a long way to go though, but I just wanted to check in. Well, here I am again. I think this is day number five with these phone holders. And I've been trying to use them and kind of get a, a good opinion of them. But today I was going to do my bumpy ride test. I was going to go out of the salt flats here in Nevada. But of course it's rained the last couple days and it's it's too muddy, muddy out there. So I'm going to have to do an alternate plan and find some speed bumps and hit those with the car and see how these hold up. I'm going to do one at a time so I can focus my attention on each one. I'm going to start off with the Beam Electronics Air Vent. First up, the cute cat phone. Now it's not even bumpy right here and you can see it jiggling around a little bit. All right, there's a couple speed bumps here. Oh, no problem. Ooh, ooh. Confidence level's not very high. Looks like it's kind of twisting a little bit too. Oh yeah, that's not, oh, that doesn't look good. Let's try the uh, Topco next, which looks an awful lot like the WeatherTech phone holder. Yeah, it's barely budging. 
my, my camera is moving more than the, the phone is. Yeah, it's not budging. This is the most solid I think of any of them right now. A quick curve here, fast turn, it's some bumps, oh yeah. Now with this one, there's a lot of different ways you can potentially do this one. I have the arm extension out a little bit. I've got it tilted down slightly. It's, it, this one's kind of hard to judge because you could configure it so many different ways, but uh, I'm just gonna take a guess and kind of push it a little bit and see how it works hanging from the windshield with the arm extended. You know, that actually seems pretty solid. The small phone off the windshield, it's working quite well. It definitely is jiggling a little bit more. There's a little more jigglies. Let's try these couple speed bumps a little faster. Oh, look at that, it's jiggling. We've got jiggles. But you know what though, even though it's jiggling around, it's still solid in there. This one I kind of don't expect to move. Bump, bump. Because it's being held from both top and bottom, although it is in the horizontal position. But an, an impressive showing nonetheless. I have to say that all four of them did it a little bit better than I expected. I, I thought that the certainly the vent or the windshield ones would have plopped off hitting those bumps as hard as I was. You can't tell from what I was filming, but I was hitting them at a much higher speed than I would normally hit speed bumps. And by the way, I'm in an empty parking lot, so there's nobody around here. I'm trying to be as safe as possible. But the speed bumps did not seem to affect them. I think the windshield one jiggled a little bit, but the foam was in there rock solid. So I really think all four of them did well. What I might do next is some freeway driving and see if I can get any of these to fail because I've only had one failure so far and that was on the windshield on the first day and I've had no failure since then. And of course I have to go to a different car and test out this one at some point, but I'll deal with that later. Let's hit some freeway driving and see how these do. All right, I got four phones again and we're gonna do the freeway test, kind of try to hit some bumps and see how they hold up over a longer period of time with kind of a bumpy road. We've got an iPhone 6S here, iPhone 7 Plus there, Samsung 6S Edge right here, and down here, we've got the iPhone 10S Max. Now just looking at these, right now the 7 Plus, which is on the vent clip, is shaking the most. That is shaking the most. Everything else seems more stable. So what we're gonna do for these is drive for a little while and then rotate all four of them and then Drive some more until all phones have been in all the holders and see uh, if any of them cause problems. Right now, they're all doing pretty well, except for the vent one is a little shaky, but other than that, I think they're all doing pretty well. I'm impressed with this, this clam shell case because it seems to be the most solid. That thing's not moving at all. My camera person has just made the first rotation of all the phones, so all the phones are now in different holders. I'm gonna continue doing this until all the phones have been in all the holders. This is the one that makes me a little bit nervous. See that? That's kind of shaky. This one, you would think would be shaky up there, but it's not. Look at that, pretty good. This one, of course, not budging. This one down here, also not budging. All right, we've just rotated them one more time, so it's round three of the freeway test. All right, it's round four on the freeway test. So far, nothing's fallen, which is great. They really don't feel comfortable with this heavy phone here. Look at that, oh. Heavy phone, kind of scary. Car number two, I'm gonna try this clip and see if it'll work in this one. This is a completely different car, different manufacturer, different year. I'll be disappointed if it doesn't work in a second car in a row. Let's try it out. And, okay, there, it's clipped. Oh, what's going on? It's going on, let's see. Oh, come on now. Really? So disappointing. This isn't my car, I better make sure it doesn't mess up the dash. 
Ah, I'm a little disappointed. You see, it just slid right off. Let me show you again. Okay, it went all the way back, and I let go. Next. All right, car number three. Let's see if third time's a charm for the clip style. If that doesn't work, I'm giving up. This is a different type of dash than the last two I tried. Let's try it out. And... It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work on this one either. This is why this one is less than four stars because three cars, three failures, the clip mount is out of the competition. It failed three times. Welp, here I am on day number seven. You know, this was supposed to be one of my easier reviews, but it ended up being kind of a beast. I guess all the different configurations of different phones with different holders in different conditions, its it's been a little bit more than I expected. Not that I'm complaining, but even though I've shot about, oh, three hours of video for this review, I'm sure I'll get these shoulda, coulda, woulda people out there that said I should have done certain things. I can only do so much in a 20 minute video, but I assure you I've tested these thoroughly but I digress. I do have one more test to do before I wrap this thing up. But what I want to do is the two mounts that have required suction cups, which is the clamshell and the windshield, I'm gonna actually move those and see how easy they are to move and how sturdy they are or after they've been removed. For the windshield, I'm gonna go from the windshield to the dash and for the clamshell, I'm just gonna move it over. So let me do that, drive around and then wrap this thing up. Let's see how easy this is to pull off of here. Oh, it's making an ugly sound. Oh, it's making an ugly sound. Well, there's a little bit of a mark on my dash. Will that come out? Yeah, I think it will. Could be wishful thinking though, we don't know. All right, I'm just gonna put it back a slightly different location. It doesn't feel real sticky anymore, but let's see. I don't think it really has to be that sticky when it's, when it's resting on the dash. Oh, it comes off a lot easier. Oh, it comes off way easier. Oh, let me see. Oh no. Oh, come on now. Wow, that, doesn't, that does not stick at all. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Let's try this one next. See, that feels pretty sturdy. It seems to be holding though. Let me drive around a little bit and see what happens. So I drove all the way back home and I looked in the instructions on this one to see if it could be repositioned. Of course, it doesn't mention that at all. Uh, someone in the comments and in the questions and answers said that if you rinse off the sticky part, it can be repositioned. I haven't had good luck with that in other mounts like this before, but I did rinse it off, let it air dry, so I'm gonna try that out. I will also say that the other mount, this one has actually held. I drove around, I actually ran a couple errands first. Uh, it's a little bouncy, but it seems like it's pretty solid, even though it jiggles a little bit. This base seems pretty firm, so I'm pretty happy with that actually. But let's try this mount and see if it'll stick after being rinsed and air dried. Here we go. Just like the first time. The first time I used it, I did that and it stuck perfectly. Let's see if I can lift it up. Oh, it failed. Oh, that's so disappointing. Yeah, the stickiness is just gone. Oh man. I really like this one too, but now what am I gonna do? It's, it's useless. Oh. All right, I think it's time for me to wrap this thing up. Now, usually at this point in my review, I'd probably do some sort of a rank from five to number one, but I don't even really feel like I can rank these because your mileage is gonna vary so much that I'm just gonna give you the pros and cons that I experienced and hope that maybe you can get something meaningful out of it. So let's start with the one that I had the least amount of success with, which is the clip type. Now this is also the lowest rated of all the ones that I did on Amazon. There were people out there that said that it worked great for them, but of some of the one star reviews, people said that it, not only did it not sometimes clip onto the dash, but sometimes while driving, it would slip off and fly off into the steering wheel. I think the idea is there, but unless your car holds it properly, this could be more problem than it's worth. Whoops. Next up, I'm going to talk about the Beam Electronics Vent Style Holder, which 
was a little bit surprising to me because I haven't had a lot of luck with these vent types, but this one actually worked better than the other ones I've tried of this type. The pros of this one is that it's easy to mount, easy to reposition, and the phone is easy to get in and out. The cons would be that it seems like it's not always that stable, it bounces around a lot, and that there is a problem that if you have your heat running in your car, it could overheat your phone. But I do think this is certainly a viable contender. I think a lot of people that get this one will probably like it. My once beloved clamshell type phone mount. I'm so disappointed it didn't reposition because this was really probably my favorite going into today until I tried to move it and then it failed. The, the obvious pro in this one is that it's the, it, this and the cup holder are the most stable of the ones that I tried but the cons would be that it's only in horizontal mode and it's obviously not easy to reposition, at least in my case. If you plan on mounting it one time and not moving it, and you don't mind horizontal, it's a great ho phone holder. Otherwise, it's, it's got issues. Now this one I, I tested mostly on the windshield, but somewhat on the dash as well. I think this one is, is certainly up there because it's, it's probably the most versatile because you can mount, mount it in different configurations. I like the way it grabs onto the phone when you push it in there. The suction cup seems to be above average for this type of a mount. It even has this extension arm, which gives you even more flexibility. Now the cons would be that this one did kind of shake around a lot. It fell off once the first time I used it. Maybe I didn't have it on there properly, but not everybody's going to put it on perfectly every time. Removing it with one hand is a little bit awkward because you have to reach around the phone and squeeze it. Um, but that's not really a big deal. I actually think this one is pretty good. I might actually end up using this one. And finally, the Top Go, which looks a lot like the WeatherTech the cup holder mount. This was the most stable because it's attached to your car. It's not hanging off of anything. It's not dangling off. There's no suction cup involved. The only negative I found about this one is that you lose a cup holder. So if you're used to being in your car alone, that's not really a big deal. It also, the position of your cup holder could also affect how much you actually use this one. It rotates nicely, it holds the phone well. This is a great option as long as you're not worried about losing a cup holder. So that's it, about seven days of use of these. I'm kind of ready to be on to something else, to be honest with you. I think all of them worked pretty well. I'm disappointed the clip didn't work in three of the cars I tried, and I'm disappointed that the clamshell mount wasn't able to be repositioned. Right now I'm kind of torn between the one that I had in the windshield and the cup holder. I'm not sure, uh, but they're both really good. These are the two I'd pick as my favorites, and your mileage will certainly vary if you try these out. I should also mention these are not just randomly picked off Amazon. I kind of had a system to it. I wanted to have five different types of mounting systems, which I got, and I also wanted to pick the highest rated and the most recommended of each type. Now with that in mind, I'm sure I excluded probably 99% of the phone mounts out there. I'll probably do a part two down the road and I'll pick four or five more phone mounts that you guys suggest either here in the comments or one of my social media profiles as well. So if you have one that I didn't review this time, let me know and I'll be sure to check it out. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos as I go. Please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Frequent Reviews.